Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I go by Nini on the internet and this is my crafty space. Hi, hello and welcome everybody. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing the August wrap up. So basically what that means is I'm going to be showing you guys all of the things I made in the month of August. So as always, let's start off with bracelets. Now all of these bracelets will be numbered right up there and they will have their patterns in the description. So this month I only made two bracelet-y kind of things. Um, so the first thing I made this month is this lovely fishbone chevron bracelet. And I really love how this turned out. I think this is a really, really cute pattern um, and I would definitely recommend it. I am planning on making a tutorial for this. So yeah, look out for that. Um, the next bracelet thing I made are, well, it's not really a bracelet, um, is this pair of earrings. And I really love how these turned out. I am kind of debating if I want to make a tutorial on how to make earrings. So if that is something you guys would be interested, please do leave a comment and I will do my best to make a tutorial for that. Um, I really love how these earrings turned out. Um, they are kind of long and kind of big. I thought they would be smaller than this, but <laughs> no, they turned out quite big. Um, but I really do still like how they turned out and I think they're really, really cute. So yeah, that is, these two are the only things that I made that are like bracelet related, but I did make a lot of other things. So let's get into those things, but let's go into knitting and crocheting. So in the knitting and crocheting category, I made two things. I believe I can't really remember if I made other things. I did so much this month that I just cannot remember exactly what I made in each category. But the first thing I made, um, which is crocheted, is this lovely little whale. And I have showed one of these before in one of my previous wrap-ups. I really can't remember which one um, because I have made this whale before. And I made this whale with a friend of mine. She made a huge whale. Um, and I will put a picture up of her whale, which turned out super duper cute. Um, and yeah, I always love making these little amigurumi uh, crochet projects. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this. If I find the pattern for this, I will link it in the description. Uh, thing is, I found the pattern off of Pinterest so I am not sure I will be able to find it but if I find it it will be in the description um, and I would definitely recommend this the pattern though is for a narwhal so all I did was just didn't make the horn and it is a whale now so next knitting thing I made which I'm really excited about is this really beautiful shirt right here um, it is like a tank top type thing it's this really cute uh, cropped tank top, I guess. Um, and I think it turned out really cute. It has quite a low back, um, as you guys can see right here. I will try to insert a picture of it. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to photograph this, so I will do my best, but I hope you guys um, have a picture right now to look at um, because this does not fit in frame. So yeah, this is really cute. I really love how this turned out. Um, I will, again, try to leave the pattern for this in the description. I don't know how many of you guys knit or crochet, but just so you guys have that, I will do my best to leave the pattern in the description. I did find this pattern on Ravelry. I don't remember the name of the pattern, but I will put it on the screen uh, so you guys can find it if you're looking for it. Um, and I think it turned out really, really cute. So yeah, this is the last knitting thing I made, I think. Um, as I said, I'm not sure what I actually made this month too much, so I'm just showing you guys what I remember. So now let's move on to sewing. So in the sewing category, I made a whole bunch of stuff. Now some of it I can't show you guys yet because it's not actually finished, but I will show you guys the finished objects I made in the sewing category. So the first sewing thing that I made this month is this really cute pencil case right here. Now every school year I make myself a new pencil case because I think it's just really fun um, and it's a really good idea. I have some of my old pencil cases here now that I'm looking at it. So let me just show those to you guys. These are not things I made this month but they work on the same pattern. Now if you guys are looking to make a pencil case that looks like this, I do have a tutorial on it. It is a very old tutorial and it is not made the best. I will just say that now. But if you are looking for that, I believe it has a pattern in there so I will put it in the card up there and in the description as well if anyone's interested in making a pencil case like this. Um, so let me just show you guys the other pencil cases I have because I think they're pretty cute. So this is a pencil case from two years ago that I made and I use this really cute fabric. Another pencil case, this is the pencil case I had this year, um, looks like this. 
So I thought it's kind of fun to show you guys old pencil cases of mine. So I think those turned out really cute. But this is the pencil case I made for this year and I really like how it turned out. So now let's move on to the biggest thing I've made this month. Um, well, one of the biggest things. Um, and uh, it is huge. Well, it's not that huge, but I think it's really cool. So let me just show you guys. So the one of the last things I made this month is this really cute dress right here. So I made this in sewing. Um, and of course it doesn't fit into frame, so I'll do my best again to put some pictures up because I think it's really cute. But, uh, something I do want to mention, um, on this, I did make this from a tutorial, uh, at least the top I did from a tutorial. I'll, I'll put that tutorial in the, the description if you guys want to make a dress like this. But, um, it's from this channel called Sew Essentials. I, I believe that's what they're called. If, if, if that's not the channel name, I'll put the actual channel's name on the screen, but um, she has a bunch of like really cute tutorials for like really cute stuff. So I definitely recommend checking her out um, just for sewing stuff because she has really good videos. But um, I basically made this really nice um, like straight kind of like square top, I guess. And then I made this really cute skirt. Now the skirt I didn't do like the tutorial, I did a different skirt, uh, just like a plain skirt. Um, but something kind of fun that happened um, is these little slits at the sides. I actually did these by accident, but I think they turned out really cute. And another thing I want to mention on this dress is that it has pockets because I love pockets. And sadly, a lot of my clothes don't have pockets. So if I make something, um, any sort of clothes related stuff, then I always like adding pockets because... Um, well, pockets are the best. Why would you not want to have pockets? But anyway, this is the dress I made. I really love it. Um, of course, the camera, as always, my phone is the camera I film on. Um, but it does not like catching colors when I show stuff. I don't know. It doesn't like catching this color. This is more green than it looks on screen. It's like this almost like a jade color, I want to say. I love it. Um, yeah, I love this dress. I love how it turned out. And yeah. That's, I guess, all I have for this month. I do have some other things that I helped make, I guess. So I'll put those pictures up if I find anything else that I made this month that I did not mention. Um, I do remember that I helped make uh, this really cute pencil case that looks exactly like this. Um, I helped my cousin make that, so I will put up... Um, I think I have, like, a couple of pictures, so I'll put those up. And if I find anything else that I helped make, I will also put that up um, on the screen right now. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, if you guys did like this video, please do give this video a big thumbs up. And if you like this type of content, please do consider subscribing. I hope you guys have a good day and bye, guys.